What do you do ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Casino Channel 329. Today's video I'm going to explain to you how to play about with my Excel spreadsheet. If you want the Excel spreadsheet, let me know in the comment box below or email me Email me at uh, Casino Channel. Let me write it down. Casino Channel 329 at hotmail.com and I will send the Excel spreadsheet to you, okay? So my email right there. So email me if you want the Excel spreadsheet and I'll send it to you, okay? No problem. So I'm gonna to explain to you how to adjust this Excel spreadsheet towards your goals, okay? So like I said to you in the first day of this journey, my goal is to go from 100 uh, and make 2.5% daily for one year. Uh, also, I'm gonna leave the links for this calculator in the description of this video if you wanna play about. And you can see that after one year, if all goes well, okay, I will make 100. This is 1,000, 8,000. This is eight. I don't, I don't know. I'll make 820,000 dollars in one year if I compound my interest every single day at 2.5 percent. Okay, and down here we can see the breakdown of the earnings. Okay, or potential earnings. Okay, and uh, yes, I chose. 2.5 because I feel like with a strategy of dozens, 2.5 is it's, it's realistic and achievable. Okay, for me, I just need to win five spins with my first bet. I'm going to talk more about the bets in a minute. And if I hit five spins with my first bet, then I'm on my way because I already made my 2.5. Okay, but you might have a different goal. So you might have a goal of achieving 5%. Okay. 5% is a little bit harder and uh, you know the longer you play the longer you stay playing the game okay the more chances you have to lose right because the casino always have an edge okay I like to get in get out and that's it all right but you know the higher the daily percentage the longer you will have to play or more you will have to risk in order to achieve this daily target again if you want to chase 0.5% it shouldn't be that hard okay 0.5% so in my case I just need to spin one time win that one time and that's it so do that for one year and my hundred dollars could become 500 well in total 617 bucks okay so that's a 517 percent increase okay then you know it depends on your strategy what you will willing to risk in order to achieve this daily target so for me I'm comfortable with 2.5 so hence me uh, going for 2.5 so your first step is decided to how much you are willing to risk based on your strategy okay my strategy is the dozens okay so I'm willing to risk a certain amount and I'm comfortable with 2.5 percent but uh, if you're going to go for the dozen strategy and you just want to make 0.5 or 1.5 then uh, you will spend less time playing and you will be exposed to less risk okay coming over here to the uh, calculator we can see that we have the day so day goes from 0 to 15 okay and then once we, we reach day 15 I'm gonna expand the spreadsheet okay so 15 days why because I can see that I'm getting closer whereas if I put 365 days the list is gonna be long and long and long and it'll be like, damn, I'm so far away. Whereas mini goals, having mini goals in order to reach the big goal. Okay, so I've got my mini goal and eventually I'll go stage by stage. <clears throat> and we have the balance. My initial balance was 100 and my daily target is 2.5. So I've changed it to 1%. So if you want to change it to 2.5 or whatever the APR that you're looking for, the percentage you are looking for on a daily basis, you change oh, Forgot to, it's supposed to change. You come over here and you change it. Let me go. Hang on. I have to change on this one. Okay. So you come over here and you select <clears throat> the percentage that you want to chase every single day. And then on the top one, you click over here on the corner and you drag it down. And everything changes, right? As you can see right there. <clears throat> and then over here we can see the total from this guideline. So this is just a calculator to give you guidance okay just like we have over here we will have over there on this excel spreadsheet okay so in order for us to be on track to reach our 
long-term goal of one year to reach this amount, we have to be on track. So we have to have at least this total right here, okay? So this is just a reference, just a guide, okay? So we know that we are on track or we're not on track, okay? So if you have less than the total, that means we're not on track. If you have more than the total, that means we are on track, okay? And over here, we got the real balance. So real balance, I input manually every time I finish the session. So on the day zero, I start with this amount and I didn't put it, but on the second day, on a day one, I did. So on a second day, I finished with 105.60. Okay, on the day number two, I finished with 108. So I was supposed to finish with 107.69, but then I rounded up to 108 and so on. You get the idea, right? And the whole idea of this real balance is for you to have an idea where you are within this challenge, okay? So right now we are here on day number 11, 156, and the total is 134. So that means we are $22 up, okay, above the, the guideline, okay? So that means we are on track, okay? And the reason why I decided to add an extra two chips in order to be ahead of the schedule is just to cover my losses if I have any potential losses, okay? So if I have a bad day, then uh, because we are a bit ahead um that setback is not gonna put us behind the to the total okay because we have some extra money so i call it a buffer okay and over here we can see balance bets so over here is where you're gonna uh play about with the strategy okay so like i said to you my strategy requires to place uh chips on the dozens okay two versus one so you place two chips and you win one okay so let's say you start with 100 bucks okay and uh, over here we got a percentage that what i'm losing willing to risk okay so 50 0 0.50 percent of my total balance is 50 cents right but because i'm placing two chips in two dozens so i have to multiply that by one which is the total bet i can put it here total bet total bet right there so you know total bet will be that amount there's the yellow so total bet right there okay <clears throat> so one chip will be 50 two chips will the one chip so the this is the let me put here one chip so you will know chip right there and the total bet is uh one okay so one chip because um we're placing one chip on the, let's say first dozen one chip on a second dozen so two chips will be two two chip or one dollar okay so this is the amount in dollars and this is the amount in dollars as well and for me to reach my 2.5 percent daily i need to win five uh five um five spins in a row to get my daily target okay so if you do 0 0.55 0 0.50 times five times is 2.5 and right there 2.5 but then as you go along you know your daily target increase because you are compounding your interest so here is where i decided to add two more chips in order to increase that buffer and in the long run my real balance will be bigger than the total okay so i can have that buffer so i decided to add two chips okay so in this case i'm playing with 10 p chips 10 cent chips okay so five chips is 50 cents so i decided to add two chips okay so two chips on top of five will be seven chips which in this case seven cents okay so seven cents in one dozen, seven, 70 cents on the other dozen. So total is going to be 1.4, okay? And so on. So obviously, if I go with 1.4, then uh, I probably will not have to spin five times, probably four times to reach my daily target, okay? But usually I go for five spins, five wins, and I'm out. And you can play about. So over here, we can see. So the first spin is going to be 
1% because this is going to be times 2, okay? Second spin is going to be 2% total, okay? Third spin is going to be 3% and fourth spin, if I go to the fourth spin, fourth spin is going to be 4%, okay? So if you do 2 plus 1.5, that's 3.5, 4.5, that's 5 times 2, that's 10%. Okay, so that means I'm willing to risk up to 10% of my balance in order to get my daily rewards, okay? But like I said to you in the previous videos, if I have three losses in a row, so I lose 1%, I lose 2%, I lose 3%, so that means I lost 6%. Then I will scrap this one and I will not spin the ball on this one because I'm having a bad streak and most likely I'm going to lose this one and that will put me to 10%. So instead of losing 10, I'll rather lose six, take a break, and then come back later and start back from the 0.5%. Hope that makes sense to y'all. So over here, we got the real balance, okay? The real balance is right here. So why I have the real balance over here? So if we play with, um, let's say 200, right? So we got 156, 156.8. Okay, so 156.8, that means that we're not going to be able to place one chip of 078. Okay, so we will have to round it up to 160, right? So we can place chips of 80 cents. But like I said to you, I, I start placing two extra chips. Okay, so two extra chips are going to take me to $1 chip. Okay, so in total, total bet is going to be $2. And because I'm willing to risk these four, potentially four spins, if I lose the four spins, potentially I'm going to lose 12.76. But if I go only up to here, I will lose less. All right, so let's say I go for four spins and I lose four spins in a row, I will lose 12.76. 76 that will total of will be a total of $20 and my new balance will be 136.8 okay because that means will be 156 the real balance minus four losses in a row which is this one right here okay and will equal this new balance right here okay hope that makes sense to y'all again if you still have any questions about how to play about, let me know in the comment box below. And, um, you know, I'll be happy to explain to you how everything works. But I think it's very simple. And again, if you want to increase your risk and if you want to uh, put more money, invest more on the first spins, it's fine with you. I'd rather start small and build it up, then go big lose at the first time and then get screwed okay it's up to you so you can click over here change it and then on this one it will change automatically okay so all you got to do just pick the percentage that you want to go so let's say you want to go 0 75 percent okay then this chip will change okay so potentially you will have to do the maths and see how many spins you will need to reach your daily target okay and work that way so for example over here we need to win five spins so five spins to so five dollars uh, so 150 we would win 150 second spin would be three dollars third spin would be 4.5 and the fifth fourth spin would be six dollars okay so potentially we just need to win four spins at these rates okay this, with this percentage but like i said to you i like to start small and build it up then go big and then lose it all but yeah that's just me so you can play about with these percentages and uh, see what works for you what kind of risk you want to you want to take and then from there you know uh, everything will pop up automatically and over here we got the x's that means the number of spins they have to go in order to recoup so the first spin you know is just the first spin if you win just keep keep going keep going if you lose that one you will have to spin twice okay so the first one you spin you recoup the previous loss and then what i've been doing is if i recoup the previous loss i will go back to the first spin 
if I'm if I'm in a lucky day, I will continue this the spin with this one percent, and then if I win, I will be up one dollar. Okay, so I'll recoup my loss and then I'll be up. And then over here again, two spins, they are to recoup these two losses. Okay, and the third spin will put me up, and so on. As you get the idea. Okay, this one, if you lose three in a row, then you will have to spin five times with this amount right here. The total bet will be $8. So keep in mind, guys, risk is high. So that's why I said to you, if I lose three in a row, then I will not go for this fourth spin. Okay, that's just me. But, uh, you know, you can do whatever you feel like with your funds. That being said, guys, hope you guys understood how to play about with the um, calculator. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment box below and I will be happy to help you out. So before we start this uh, session, I want to give a shout out to All on Black, the Ostrich Gambles, the Rolet Grinder and the Rolet Profit and Stop. These four channels, they all play with real funds. They all, we all doing similar journeys right so because we all here grinding to make that daily profits okay we all have different strategies and all that so i would recommend you to come over here to the channels all the links going to be down in the description you know just go subscribe you know watch them videos like comment do whatever you feel like just show them some love okay because they all grinding they're all um working working towards their money making okay so yeah that being said guys let's go ahead and start this session okay okay let's go <clears throat> um so we're gonna use uh two extra chips so we're gonna pretend that we have a balance of 200 and we're gonna place um one dollar chip okay so two chips total bet two dollars and again we're gonna spin five times Five times if you win five in a row, there will be five bucks and we're going to be way out of our way. Because today, day number 12, we're supposed to win or supposed to make 3.36. So if you make uh, five bucks, that will be $1.64 extra. Okay, that will eventually add up. So let's work towards that money. So potentially we just need to win four spins. Okay, four spins, we're going to be um way above our daily target okay 336 so if we win four spins four bucks you know we just have that extra okay but usually i like to go for five spins so once i win the fifth spin then um i will um i call it a day okay let's go over to my favorites uh let's take the statistics real quick so we can see sec first dozen 38 percent 26 percent and 32 percent so numbers are more often coming on the first and third based on the past 50 numbers okay yeah looking over here we can see more small numbers than uh mid numbers so yeah cool uh hopefully this session is going to be good fingers crossing right now and uh five spins in a row like last session would be ideal Whoa. Okay, 27. So we're going to go for the first and third. Right there. So ideal scenario would be like the previous session. Get in, five minutes, five spins, we out. Okay? That would be the ideal scenario every single day. Okay? I would love that to happen every single day. But we already know that that doesn't happen very often. Okay? So... Um, Let's see how it goes. First, first um, spin. Hopefully, we're going to be out of our on our way after a few spins. That's thirty-one. Okay, so we have our first win. Why right, still down two bucks? Okay. I need to be careful with this mouse. I need to buy a mouse. I need to go ahead and buy a mouse because sometimes when I click, it just double clicks. Okay. <clears throat> so we got one win. 
we just need four more. Fingers crossed. Ball is rolling. What we got? Another big number. Cool. So that's the second win. We're gonna go for the third spin. Hopefully statistics will stay this way while we are playing. Uh, more numbers on the third and first, and uh, we're gonna be out of here in no time. So we just need to win three more spins. Well, technically two, but um, I would like to get that fifth one. See how it goes. <clears throat> okay, number six. That's another win. Okay, so we just need two more spins. Two more spins and that's it. That's all I want. That's all I want, universe. Just give me those two spins and we out, please. That's all I'm asking. Let's go, fingers crossed. Two spins, two wins, and we out. No need to be greedy. Here we go. Can't really see the number. 18, okay. So that's the first loss. We're gonna go for first and second. So first and second with uh, four bucks. <clears throat> so again, we lost this one, the first one. So we're gonna go for the second one and we potentially have to spin it two times, but uh, if I win it, I'm only gonna spin one time because we are in a good streak here and we re reset the bet to $2. Here we go. Fingers crossed. Okay, we got that one, cool, thank you. Okay, so we're back to three bucks. And uh, we're going to go for the first and second with two dollars, first and second. So we just need two spins. And we're going to be on our way. That's it. It's cold. It's cold today. Well, today, so I won't wrap this video ASAP. Hopefully, this video is not going to be too long. This session, there we go. 24, right on the edge. Okay. So, right now, we are up four dollars. Okay. Um, I'm tempted to just call it a day with four bucks because we are way ahead of schedule so I think I'm gonna call it a day so I'm gonna skip this shot see how it goes and um, if the third doesn't come that's a sign that I should have I, sh I have to call it a day let's see how it goes <clears throat> Yeah, 31. So that means call it a day. So yes, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. We are up four bucks right there. So 160.40. And um, day number 12 is done. And we are 160.40. Okay, so 160.40, that means uh, 160.40. 
that means the next shape is supposed to be 80 okay well we already what well, 80 so we're still going to continue with a dollar chip so we're only going to level up to 1.1 once we reach 180 once we reach 180 well actually no once we go over 160 so potentially my next session is going to be my last session with 160 and then so let's say we end up the session with 165 i'm not going to be able to put 83 right so i'll have to round it up to 190 like uh, here 0 0.90 but i will add two chips on top of it so i'm gonna go for 220 220 and then i will be putting uh, 1.10 or 2.2 total bets and you can see right here and uh, that being said guys i'm gonna wrap this video up stay tuned in for the next one peace